I was entirely addicted to editing my photos. I am a former Facetune catfish, and I am foolproof that you cannot always trust what you see online. My name is Rebecca, I am 24 and I live in California. Online, I am most known for my Facetune era. I had a time in my life where I was very insecure and had a lot of issues with my self-esteem. My before and after pictures are incredibly different. So the first Facetune video I posted was last month. It ended up getting about 4.9 million views and it's just a after and before of my face. When I first started using Facetune the most, I used it more commonly with just my online presence. So I predominantly used all of my photos for like social media. And I did use it on Tinder for about a week and a half and immediately felt the repercussions of it. So I stopped, but yeah, it was 90, 95% my just online presence in general. I was petrified 24-7 um, that people online that I was friends with would realize that those photos were not what I actually looked like, and it actually consumed me. I did a lot of things to make sure that it didn't happen. After using Facetune for three years, I decided to stop using it because I realized how much it was giving me a severe version of body dysmorphia. I had no idea what I looked like when I looked in the mirror, and I figured like if I want to reclaim myself and fully lift the burden that was using that app the way I did. I wanted to be like an outlet or like a person to say like, hey, I did this, I'm admitting to it. I have probably had thousands of comments of people telling me that they either used to do it as bad as I did or still currently do it as dramatic as I used to. There definitely were a lot of negative reactions too. I think the most common one was probably just people saying like, it doesn't look natural, this is embarrassing, why would you even out this kind of information or why would you be so open about something so embarrassing i'm not at all ashamed of my facetune era i definitely own it and like to take accountability for it but i don't think that it's something to be ashamed about in fact i'm just proud that i'm able to talk so openly about it i just want people to know that it's okay that apps like these can absolutely take control of our lives and they can absolutely ruin our image and i just want people to know that there is an out and you are able to get to a place where you can actually love yourself the way you are and not feel like you have to look like all of the influencers and beauty makeup artists that there are on social media. Dear God, let's re-edit my 2019 Facetune Fails. I want to talk about one of the worst dating stories I've ever had that coincides with my Facetune era Wow, I Facetuned myself with makeup So on my TikTok I talked about how the majority of my Facetune era was during my abusive relationship and obviously like bleeding out into my abusive relationship when I started dating again which was literally the second I broke up with him So as much as I don't like to admit it, I did use my Facetune photos for Tinder for a very, very small amount of time because I immediately felt the repercussions of it. And there were two very significant people that I met while I was using those face-tuned photos on Tinder. One of which I consider a close friend who, you know who you are, the other one will call him Derek. Both of these people met me at a very fragile part in my life. But that's not an excuse, it's just context. When I matched with both of them, I actually still lived in Central California, but I was coming down to Southern California like all the fucking time because I wanted to move down here, I wanted to visit my friends, so on and so forth. So Derek and I made plans for me to come down to Southern California and stay with him for a full week. Majority of the reason why is because I didn't have anywhere to stay. Um, all of my friends had people staying at their house already. Um, 
because it was approaching Thanksgiving. And I was not stable at the time whatsoever financially, so I couldn't afford a hotel. I ended up coming out to Derek, telling him that my photos were heavily edited, um, told him the reasons why, and I told him, like, hey, if you're not interested because I'm not your type, like, I totally get that. Or if I am still your type and you are just not interested because I lied to you, like, whatever it is, I'm okay with that. And he was like, you know, I'm not happy that you lied to me, but, like, I like bigger girls, so let's see where it goes. So I get to his house and immediately I knew that it was not gonna work. For reasons I don't even want to get into. But on the third day, we were going out for dinner and he ends up asking me how I thought it was going. And I was honest with him, I told him I really didn't think that it was gonna go anywhere because we had a lot of different views on a lot of different things. And he proceeds to tell me, yeah, I don't really think it's gonna work either because your career path is much different from mine. And immediately I knew that was bullshit. So when we got back to his house, I ended up asking him what the real reason was. And he legitimately told me that I was way fatter than he thought, even though I sent him head to toe videos of my body, my face, everything before I came. So we should have had like an exact idea of what he was getting into. But he tells me that I'm way fatter than he thought, and that he had a very hard time finishing because we were sleeping together literally two, three times a day for the first three days I was there. But he didn't just leave it at that. And that wasn't even the verbiage he used. I'm pretty sure he said that I was way fatter than he thought. But I could be wrong. I ended up leaving his house, packing up my shit that same night, and just like leaving and finally figuring out a place to go. But he destroyed me. He knew how fat I was. I understand I lied to him, and maybe I deserved it because I lied to him. But regardless, I wish you would have done that before I gave him the most vulnerable part of myself. Fascinating one of my closest friends. What could go wrong? She wanted to be fast attuned again, so I saved my crispiest memes for this video.